Hey, did you know that during the start of the 1990 insurrection 27 years ago, that our national football team was locked in battle with our rivals Jamaica in the Shell Caribbean Cup? Well, tonight, Ken Fuentes retraces the events of that fateful night through the eyes of the leaders of both teams, Jamaican captain Anthony Corbett and the TNT football legend Clayton Morris. On July 27, 1990, the day of the attempted coup, Trinidad and Tobago was playing Jamaica in a football match right here at the Hazley Crawford Stadium. Tonight, we hear the perspective of both captains, Anthony Corbett of Jamaica and Clayton Morris of Trinidad and Tobago. Morris remembers the day as his late brother's birthday and also the day his life changed forever. Because I remember we were on the field, well, before we, we, we go, went on the field, we were actually watching the first game between Grenada and I can't remember if it was Barbados. And all of a sudden, where I was sitting, I could have seen, had a, a, a clear view of Port of Spain. And I just, we just heard this explosion. And when we looked, we saw this smoke coming from direction in Port of Spain. And I said to the guys, that is the headquarters, police headquarters. They said, no, that is something by power joint at the time. I said, no, that is headquarters. And all of a sudden, we heard gunshots right around the stadium. So we were aware what was going, was taking place. You know, so For Corbett and his team, it was chaotic, but they felt they were in good hands. We, I remember clearly it was um, one of the day, I think it was um, the Saturday morning. There were some heavily armed police officers at the hotel. The Jamaicans were unable to leave the country for a week. And the Corbett says it was not easy, but Jamaicans are a resilient bunch of people. Um, Jamaicans are resilient people, you know. So we understand that if it was a loaf of bread to carry us through, we know exactly. I mean, we, most of us were from the ghetto, so, so we understand hard life. Morris believes playing the match despite the chaos outside served the purpose they only appreciated after the events of July 27, 1990. When I think back about this, the whole that day and taking the guys back out on the field, you know, i really happy I made that decision or, and get the guys to understand because we were able to save some people's lives. Because what would have happened is that people would have jump in the vehicle who have to travel get back out in the street morris like his jamaican colleague says that fateful day in tnt's history has changed their lives forever